Today I'm excited to share with you how you can achieve a broader range of color using Ricoh's Neon Pink Toner for the fifth color station. Now in addition to using Neon Pink as a pure color, Neon Pink can be blended with CMYK to expand your color gamut and achieve some pretty vibrant and amazing oranges. These are colors we couldn't even come close to matching with a traditional four color digital press. Now just look at this swatch here. If my design incorporated an orange like this, I could probably only achieve something like this on a traditional four color digital system. Now just look at these two samples here. You can see that with the addition of neon pink, this is much more vibrant and much closer to what we were intending. Now that you're sold on neon pink, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to incorporate it into your designs. It's gonna help you and your customers understand the process. Here we go. All right, with our document open, you can see we already have a layout prepared. Now we're gonna blend the neon pink with the yellow base layer to create a much brighter and more vibrant orange. We'll need to create a neon pink color swatch first, so locate your swatch palette, top right corner, select New Color Swatch. The color type will be set to Spot, so the Fire Command workstation will recognize the fifth color. We're gonna name the swatch Neon P, capital N, capital P. The color mode will be CMYK, and we're gonna use 80% magenta to represent the neon pink. Okay, so we have our neon pink color swatch in our file. Now we can layer the artwork and apply the neon pink to the topmost layer. We're gonna start by copying the burst graphic using Command C or Edit Copy. And now we're left with a base layer that we'll have to remove the magenta from, leaving 100% yellow. Okay. All right, now we can paste the duplicate artwork in place directly on top of the yellow base layer using Command Shift Option V or Edit Paste in Place. That'll put it right on top. We'll make that top layer neon pink. Now at the moment, neon pink over yellow, if printed as is, would just be neon pink. We need to blend the pink into the yellow. And we're gonna do that using overprint fill. Now you can also use multiply, but multiply might give you a darker effect than what you intended. Let's take a look at that. All right, you see how that's darker red? Okay. Now if you don't see overprint fill in your workspace, go to window, down to output, and make sure attributes is selected. Now select your neon pink top layer and click the overprint fill box. Now overprint fill is an output effect, so you won't see the blend right away. Now to confirm it's set up properly, go to view and overprint preview. Now you'll see that red orange result similar to multiply, which means the neon pink is blending to the yellow base layer. For the pink crown graphic on the back, we're gonna use 100% neon pink. So select that and assign it neon pink. And at this point, we can turn off Overprint Preview. Okay. Now we're ready to export our files to PDF. We're gonna use File Export, or you can use a shortcut Command E. We're gonna save it as a print PDF. And we're gonna use the Adobe preset PDFX4. And we're gonna add crop marks and document bleeds for this file. All right, let's click Export. All right, with our PDF exported, it's a good idea to check it with Adobe Acrobat to make sure the neon pink is present and blending properly. All right, so let's open our PDF. And on the top right, if you don't see print production, go over to the left, click Tools, scroll down to Protect and Standardize, and click Print Production. So that should appear on the right. Now click Output Preview, and make sure Simulate Overprinting is selected. Locate the spot colors in the separations window. And to confirm the presence of neon pink, you can mouse over the artwork and you'll see the, the percentages change in the output window. Okay, you can also click the neon P button off and on a few times to see where the neon pink is laying down. So after you've confirmed that, you're ready to print your file. So that's how easy it is to create vibrant oranges by mixing neon pink and CMYK.